Quad City Bay Area asks, thank you for a $5 super chat. Quad City Bay Area, is it safe to say that DJ developers are better that Waxnail, the system is better? Quad City Bay Area, I see why someone would say that because the Waxnail hardware is more powerful. Well, it's certainly more powerful than the V2 DJI system. I think it might be more powerful, just the raw sort of processing power. It, I'm not sure if it's more powerful than the O3. Um, I, I do think it's safe to say that DJI developers are better than Walksnail, but hang on. I mean, DJI is a multi-billion dollar company. Walksnail is... For Waxnail developers to do what they have done with the resources that they have available is extraordinary. Waxnail has achieved so much considering that, like, I'm guessing there's like two guys, you know, sitting in a room somewhere with laptops. I'm joking. I'm joking. Waxnail, please don't, please don't take offense. Like DJI probably has, you know, a whole floor of the building devoted to their FPV engineers, their video system engineers. And Walksnail just doesn't have those resources. So it's not that any individual DJI developer is necessarily like better than any individual Walksnail developer. In my like I'm obviously I'm speculating here, but there's no question that DJI churns out results that just make e not just Walksnail, but like every other company they just churn out these amazing products and 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 every single one of them is in some ways class leading if not in multiple ways because well not just because they have a lot of money but because they use that money to hire very very good engineers and lots of them and they're just very they're just very good at that um i mean i think that if not just walk snail. If any company out there had as much money as DJI, they might still not be as good as DJI because DJI is clearly very good at developing technology and pushing boundaries and making products that do things that stuff didn't used to do. And they have maintained that position for 15 years, certainly. I think that's safe to say, maybe longer. And so just because DJI has money is not the only reason that they're class leading, but they have money and are very good at hiring talent and using that talent to develop products. Um, and anybody who doesn't have billions of dollars to play with is already at a disadvantage. So for, for Walksnail to do what they've done is an incredible achievement. But, I mean, I think that uh, it's hard to compete with DJI. I, I just want to mention one more thing, which is don't forget that DJI makes drones. All those drones yeah. use OcuSync. Sure. So this isn't like, not only do they have a bunch of money, but it's not just like an FPV team of engineers. They're building on the foundations that DJI has been building for, I think oh, the yeah. first OcuSync was eight to 10 years and OcuSync is built off the back of another system that was before that. Mm -hmm. All their drones have the P1 chip and the S1 chip and you know, yeah. like this new E3 chip and stuff. So th there's just so many resources like you were saying, but it's it's just multiple teams working on multiple products and multiple releases and yeah, the, the volume. And the other thing I've heard from multiple sources is that DJI mops up fresh engineers and gets yeah. them to work essentially for free out of college because they want to work for DJI and get it on their resume. Mm. And they absorb all the best people into their teams. And so they have essentially unlimited people resources too. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. I, I, I've been, a, there are a few times in my life where I've met somebody and gone, oh, wow, this, this guy's on another level. Like, it, it, where you almost feel like you're in the room with a, a superhuman. Like, 
Like I'm thinking now, I'm thinking of Magnus Carlsen, the chess grandmaster. Some people say uh, certainly the best chess player today. Some people say maybe the best chess player of all time. And obviously I don't, I don't play chess, but like I think of people like that and go, if I, if you were to play chess with him, he would just, you'd be like, what, what is this? What is happening here? It's just superhuman. You've, you know, people who can, you know, lift 800 pounds, you know, they're just unbelievable. And I've been in, I've been a, a few times in my life. I've met people. If I were pressed, I'm not sure I could give you a name right now. Uh, the person I'm thinking of actually right now is no one you'd ever know. It's just a person I met once. And I was like, Jesus, this guy is really smart. Like this person is accomplishing things and able to do things on a level that I can't really even comprehend. And then imagine that you had a billion dollars and could hire and find as many of those people as you want. And now you put them all in a room together and they all make something. And you're like, oh, okay. Now I see why you make good products. Anyway, thank you for that question. It's a good question.